Okay, so in this video, we want to use the method of linear approximation to estimate the square root of 118 by hand. So first, let us recall the statement of linear approximation, and that is that the values of a function are very close to the values on its tangent line at x0, but of course, the estimation is only fairly accurate if we choose a value of x that is close to the point of tangency. So to use the method of linear approximation, we have to choose three ingredients. The function f of x, the value of x, and the value x0, the point of tangency. Well, since we want to estimate the square root of a number, it's pretty obvious that the function f of x should be the square root of x. We also need to find the derivative of f. If we use the power rule, the derivative of root of x is 1 over 2 root of x. And, since we want to estimate the square root of 118, then we need x to be 118. The last choice, which is a little bit more interesting, is x0, the point of tangency. So, if we look back, this value must have two properties. The first one, it must be close to the x value, so x0 must be close to 118, but since we want to evaluate this by hand, we want the derivative of f and f at x0 to be easily evaluated. Well, the square root can be easily evaluated if we take the square root of a perfect square. So we would like to have x0 to be a perfect square close to 118. That number is, of course, 121, as 121 is 11 squared. So we can now replace, in the result of linear approximation, the value of x and the value of x0. What we now have is f of 118 is approximately f of 121 plus the derivative at 121 times x118 minus 121. Well, f of 118, that is the root of 118, that is our objective, the number that we want to evaluate, and that is approximately the, uh, the function at 121. Well, the square root of 121 is the root of 11 squared, which is 11, plus the derivative at 121, well, we have 1 over 2 times the square root of 121, but again, the root of 121 is 11, 2 times 11 is 22, so 1 over 22, times 118 minus 121, negative 3. So what we have is 11 minus 3 over 22. So we can write this as a single fraction by putting everything under 22. Well, think of 22 being 2 times 11, so 11 times 11 is 121, times 2 will give us 242. So we have 242 negative 3 over 22. 242 minus 3 is 239. So we now have, by hand, obtained a rational approximation to the square root of 118. But it's hard to get a feel, an intuitive feel, for a rational number. So let us also give a approximation to the root of 118 in decimal form. So the question is now, should we perform the long division on our final answer? Or perhaps go back to something a little simpler? When you divide two integers together, the smaller the integers, the easier the long division is to perform. So we're better off doing the long division on 3 over 22 than on 239 over 22. So let us carry out the long division, dividing 3 by 22. So how many times can we fit 22 into 3? Well, the answer is obviously 0. Move on to the next decimal place times 1030. We can fit 22 to 30 one time. Subtract, we're left with 8. Second decimal place 
times 10. Well, 4 times 22 is 88. That's too large. So we can fit 22 three times into 80. 3 times 22 is 66. We subtract, we get 14. Third decimal place times 10. Well, how many times can we now fit 22 into 140? The answer is 6. As 6 times 12 is 6 times 2, sorry, is 12, and 6 times 20 is 120, so 6 times 22 is 132. If we subtract, we're left with 8. Next decimal place, so times 10, but if you notice, if you carry this out, you're right back to 80 again. So we have now a repeated 2 cycle, therefore the decimal 36 will repeat itself forever. So, in decimals, we have here 11 minus 0 0.136 periodic. Let's perform this subtraction. If you remove from 11 a small positive quantity, like point about 14, you bring this down to 10, point, and now you can think of, well, what do we add to get back to 11? Well, we have to add 0 0.8, 0 0.6, and 0 0.3 periodic. So, we now have two different ways to look at our approximation. So let's summarize both results. We can look at our approximation as a rational approximation. So the root of 118 is approximately 239 over 22, but as I've said before, it's hard to get a good intuitive feeling of what this number really represents. So now we have the same approximation, of course, but in decimals. So the root of 118 is approximately 10.863 periodic. And if you want, you can use your calculator and punch in the root of 118, and you will find that this is a fairly good approximation. And what's really interesting is that every calculation in here was done by hand. And that's it.